Hello, and thanks for joining us again. My name is Joe Stokely, a uh, broker owner of Stokely Properties, where we cover property management in the greater Walnut Creek, Contra Costa County area. And today I have our guest, Mr. Nick Rocha, attorney at law. Uh, Nick specializes in real estate and business law. And um, the question I wanted to uh, ask Nick today was a question that I get a lot from uh, potential new clients and current clients is um, what is the best way for a, or what's the the proper way that a property management company should handle an eviction um i stress to our clients that you know when we screen people to place in the properties of course we want the best outstanding citizens they have a good job good credit history but there is no uh guarantee of you know future performance based on past results. So, you know, you could put a person in a home and they're stellar and, and, and whatever unfortunate thing can happen to them, a divorce, a death, a, a job loss, and bam, now you have somebody that is not cooperating and they're not paying their rent. And that's when I like to uh, turn it over to Nick to see how he believes is the best way that this should be handled. Nick? Thanks, Joe. Uh, the unlawful detainer process is a very difficult arena if you don't know what you're doing in it. It's not overly complex, but it has a lot of strict procedures and a lot of pitfalls for the unwary. And so my, my first suggestion for an owner who doesn't have representation and maybe doesn't know what they're doing is to find a property manager that can assist them in that process. And if you're a property manager and you don't know what you're doing, then maybe find counsel to assist you in that process because it, it is very difficult to navigate those waters without some assistance. To begin with, I think we all go through leases, and the only reason you enter a lease is because you think it's going to work out well. Otherwise, you wouldn't have signed the lease, but you're right. Things don't always go according to plan, and people lose jobs, or life changes occur, and mm -hmm. now you have to get them out of the property. There are a lot of situations that can give rise to the need to get rid of somebody, so let's talk about a few. Uh, one would be non-payment of rent. You have a tenant, maybe they lose their job, maybe they're committed to doing other things with their money, they could no longer afford to pay you the rent. What you need to do then is send them a three-day notice to pay rent or quit in California. There are specific requirements for that notice. I would recommend that you don't peruse the internet and try to go find a three-day notice to pay rent or quit. California updates their laws almost annually on these notices. If you pull up a notice off the internet and it's from five years ago, it's not going to comply with current standards. And if you go to court with that, you're going to get kicked out you're going to lose, you're going to pay your tenant attorney's fees if you have an attorney's fees clause in the lease, and then you get to start all over again. So first off, find a current notice. Most lawyers have those. They can drop them for you quickly and present you with the best possible starting point for getting somebody out. So once you serve somebody with a notice to pay rent or quit, you have to give them three days to be able to pay that rent. You don't count the date of service. You count three days after that. And weekends included, correct? Weekends included, but the last day has to end on a banking day, right? So they can go get the money and pay you if they have to. So That's they won't end on a Saturday, Sunday, or a banking mm -hmm. or banking holiday. If they haven't paid you by the expiration of that three-day time period, you can evict them. You can file an unlawful detainer action. Again, you need to hire an attorney to do that unless you have the forms and you know exactly what you're doing. But my recommendation would be, as you know, is yeah. to find somebody who knows what they're doing in right. the process. It'll be much smoother trying to evict them in the court system. I uh, have not tried to evict somebody on my own. Fortunately, it's not something that we had to do a lot. And it's just like riding a bike or water skiing. You know, you need to do it often. You have to be in practice. So uh, I highly recommend uh, if, unfortunately, that happens, that it's time to evict somebody that you... Uh, meet somebody, have somebody working in your corner like Mr. Nick Rocha, do it right. It might cost a little bit of money, but the most important thing is to gain possession of your property back. That's the most important thing, and that's what I tell our clients, and it, and it really works. That's the way to go. So, Nick, once again, thank you. Anything else that you have to say to follow it up? I think maybe just a couple points on the process. Just because you file that unlawful detainer complaint doesn't mean you're going to get the, the tenant out of the property. I've been practicing law here in Contra Costa County for 20 years. I've been doing a lot of these. I probably had over a thousand residential evictions uh, under my belt over that time period. And not all go to trial. But once you serve the complaint, and you need to have a process server serve the complaint, mm -hmm. you can't serve it yourself, uh, because there are specific methods for service of a complaint. Um, you have to give them five days to answer the complaint. So the time frame kind of runs three-day notice, service of complaint, 
five days for them to answer. If they don't answer, you can get them out quickly by what they call a default judgment. If they do answer, you have to set the trial date. The trial will be set within 21 days, and it's normally a 10 to 20 minute trial for something like a basic non-payment of rent case. You get that judgment from the court, you get that over the sheriff's department, you get a writ issued, and you probably have that tenant out about two to three weeks right now in Contra Costa County after you get that judgment. Mm -hmm. So that's the time frame from soup to nuts for a basic non-payment of rent unlawful detainer process. Excellent, great. Uh, hire an attorney. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Nick, once again. Thank you. Joe Stokely with Stokely Properties. Have a good day, thank you.